I only used one potato to make this recipe. Your family will be delighted. Let's start our recipe by adding a large potato to a pan of water and let it cook for 20 minutes. With our potato already cooked, just remove all the skin from it and then we will grate it like this. Now in a hot frying pan we will add 3 chopped slices of bacon and fry well. And if you like potato recipes like this, leave them here below, I love potatoes. This way I will know that you are liking this recipe and I will continue to bring different recipes with potatoes for you here on our page. This potato and bacon recipe is perfect and you will love it. We've already fried the bank, so I'm going to reserve it. Now in another frying pan I will add a little oil, with the heat still off. I'm going to spread it well with a kitchen brush, like this. And now I'm going to add part of our cooked and grated potato and spread it all over the bottom of the frying pan, pressing well like this. Now let's season one with a pinch of black pepper. A little bit of salt. Remembering that the seasoning is to taste. Now I'm going to add some of the bacon that we fried, look how delicious it is. And now I'm going to add slices of mozzarella cheese on top, the quantity is to taste, I'm going to add 4 slices and mozzarella. And now we're going to add the rest of our potato here on top of all this, pressing down well. Remembering that the quantity of ingredients will depend on the size of your frying pan, is that okay? And now we're going to add the rest of our fried bacon, only in the center of our recipe, like this. The smell is already wonderful and my mouth is watering with the desire to try this recipe. Now let's finish by adding more mozzarella cheese on top, only in the center too, because when it melts the cheese will spread on its own, okay? So let's cover the pan and let it cook for 3 minutes. 3 minutes have passed and look how delicious our recipe turned out. I'll finish with a little oregano to give it a special touch and will serve this deliciousness. I'm going to take a piece of our recipe to try, I'm going to cut it into four pieces, which is enough for a family of four. And now I'm going to try it. My God! How delightful! I almost fell back now, this recipe is so delicious. Make this perfect recipe at home and tell me what you think.